When people think of Shrewsbury, they think of an ethical firm. They think of a minority-owned business that's achieved great results. Honesty, truthfulness, integrity, following through on what you say you're going to do. Very dedicated, very focused, excellent design. You know, we started small and we were very selective on who we hired and through that we've created this really cool, cohesive group. We bring on the best, most talented people in the industry. It's just a great culture. It's a very family-type atmosphere. Shrewsbury & Associates was established that Shrewsbury took four employees from an existing firm that was doing environmental work, and those four individuals joined. And so the five of us in September of 2001 were Shrewsbury & Associates. I had no idea where this journey would take me, or take us as a company. All I wanted to do was to work with Bill Shrewsbury and to be part of something. Bill and I pretty much met, and I said, Bill, I don't know you from Adam. You don't know me, but I'll give you a year. That was 20 years ago. I don't regret a dime of that. He knows everybody. You can walk into a room and um, know people, or at least Bill know of Bill, but also the integrity that he has, and I think he's instilled that in the firm at every step of the way. When we won the Indianapolis Midfield Terminal Airport as the owner's technical rep, from then on, we never stopped. There was no walls for us. There was no reason to slow down. There, there was no barrier. A stroke of genius or blind luck, we, we had ourselves certified in about 25 states. Well, one of the firms that we worked with pretty heavily at the Midfield Terminal called and said, you know what? We're going to be working on a new hotel and rail station in Denver. Are you guys certified in Denver? Yes. When do we need to go? So <laughs> we, we ended up going to Denver. The Hotel and Transit Center is what I call a foundational project that allowed us to really plant a flag and to grow our engineering services as well as our PMCM services. I think what was important early on with starting the Denver office was having Eric Roll move there to have a leader that was local, could carry forth the culture. We're a really tight group and that translates to helping in the office too where you've got that comfort level with people and this great camaraderie. After the hotel and transit center, we really got into more of the design side on the airfield as well as the program management and support services work. To me, the greatest catalyst for our growth really is finding foundational projects, the big projects that allow us to grow. Central 70 is a significant project. It is replacing an old viaduct that divided communities. Working on large programs like Central 70, which is a $1.3 billion program, is significant. I knew that at some point there's going to be a transition. We need to start looking for who that transitional person might be. Anthony Warren came to me sort of serendipitously. Someone called me and said, Bill, there's this, this great guy. He's looking to move back or move to Indianapolis. He's been here before, but would you meet with him? I said, sure, be glad to. And so I met with Anthony. Didn't take long to figure out this is the kind of guy we want in our company. I was immediately impressed by Bill and what he and the team here had accomplished at Shrewsbury. And so he asked me in the first conversation, would I consider working for a company like uh, Shrewsbury? And so I said, absolutely, let's keep talking. And the rest, as they say, is history. What gives me confidence in Anthony is really his integrity, strategic thinking, his big company experience. And I look forward to growing the company with Anthony. I think early on we, we built a, a really good culture. Anthony came aboard and, and really helped us take that culture to another level and really grow the firm to the level that we are today. As we talk aviation expansion, the work that we have done at Denver International Airport brings us to Seattle Tacoma International Airport, doing design work to improve the infrastructure on the airfield. We also recently won the Roadway Improvements Program. Those two anchor projects will allow us to grow here in Seattle. One of our core growth models centers around having mutually beneficial relationships. It's what took us to Denver, 
is what helped open up the market in Dallas and also places like Seattle. We like to collaborate with our partners and strategize even on pursuits. And then once we win the business, what we do is integrate our teams to deliver projects in an excellent way. For the last several years, we've been working on the Banker's Life Fieldhouse project, designing their plaza. And that project has really taken our group to another level. It's large scale, it's a fun project because the client understands the importance that landscape architecture brings to this. It's home of the Indiana Pacers, there's lots of concerts that take place. It's going to bring a sense of community and a sense of place to the field house as opposed to just a quick destination in and out. Probably the reason that we were able to, to be on the Banker's Life Fieldhouse team is for projects like 16 Tech, which is another important Indianapolis project. 16 Tech is a innovation district created from scratch, north of downtown Indianapolis. We are responsible at Shrewsbury for designing the look, character, and feel of the project. The Indianapolis Community Justice Campus project really is just kind of the continuation of another line of just huge Indianapolis projects. It would be simple to say that it's a jail and a courthouse, but the way that the city administration has gone about that project has really tried to look at it in a different way with the assessment and intervention center. The CJC project was challenging for us because of the scale. So we want to bring everything down to a pedestrian scale so the pedestrian, as they flow through the site, they feel comfortable. Another really important project to the city of Indianapolis that we were fortunate to work on is, is the Red Line. It was very important to Shrewsbury Transportation in the sense that it put us on the map as a prime transit firm. So we worked with Indigo on this project. In addition to doing work locally, we are also becoming well known across the country. Specifically in Washington, D.C., we worked on the I-66 outside the Beltway project. And that project has also springboarded us into pursuing other design-build projects across the country. We've been in, in the Washington, D.C. market for about 10 years. Most of that work has been with D.C. Water as a client. The Clean Rivers Project is a consent decree project to build miles and miles of tunnel throughout the district to replace parts of the 100-year-old combined sewer system. We've completed the first leg of the tunnel, the Anacostia River, and that's in operation. We're currently working on the Northeast Boundary Tunnel through the heart of D.C. The Alex Renew River Renew Project is a combined sewer overflow project. Basically, the objective is to reduce overflows to the Potomac Interceptor. We're building a bunch of infrastructure to help us do that. And Shrewsbury is, has the role of civil design and landscape architecture design on that. This was an opportunity for us to basically expand our offerings to our clients to basically have multiple uh, departments working together to basically help our overall client to achieve their goal. What has stayed the same for the last 20 years is really our culture. We have increased in you know, our disciplines of service or service areas in engineering, but it's really about the people. Shrewsbury really cares about its employees and we all feel like we're part of the family. Bill himself, Anthony, and Eric Rowe, they make you feel like, hey, I'm here for whatever you need. Like, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me or talk to me. So that's how I felt when I first came in. Like, they were my family. Like, I've known them forever. They always say to find a job that you don't need to take a vacation from. And working at Shrewsbury with the great people that we have, it makes going to work fun. One of the founding principles was diversity before it became a buzzword. We were already practicing that. And diversity has kind of helped us to kind of create the best solutions for our clients. It's created a great environment. It's pretty unique what we have at Shrewsbury when it comes to get people to be able to perform at their highest. We are acutely aware that most small businesses are geographically confined, but we are coast to coast. That says something that we are adventurous, we are explorers, and that's what we love. It's exciting. We've always been about ethics and excellence. And these things have helped us to navigate through the years. We are still here and we're thriving. Shrewsbury is positioned for growth. Our future is bright and I can't wait to see what the next 20 years holds for Shrewsbury and Associates.